So I'm preparing to move my hives out. I'm just seeing if I can move these bees. Ooh, the shed has just come alive here. I'd rather move these hives out through the day just because moving hives out at night is so much bloody work. So the trick is to cool this shed down to be able to stick the bees in the boxes. And for the longest time I've always had trouble with an overheated shed. But since I've been able to increase the ventilation through the shed to be able to keep the temperature down in here, I've been able to uh, sneak these hives out during the day. I've been able to you know, drop the temperature of the shed through the night to cool off this shed. So then when I opened up the door, uh, the hives were all stuck to their boxes and they weren't flying out kind of like this. So right now the shed's at five. It's about three degrees outside right now. So this is a little bit too much activity. I can't, can't move on this. So what I'm going to do is tonight I'm going to start moving the hives. I'm going to uh, load up a load and well, it's supposed to be windy, so I probably won't move tonight. <clears throat> but I'll get a load loaded up. And I'll back the truck in here, and then first thing tomorrow morning, I'll start moving. And hopefully, <clears throat> I'll uh, drop the temperature down in the shed. I'll crank the fans on, and I'll try to pull this temperature down as much as I can to be able to cool off these hives, to stick them into the boxes, and then maybe, just maybe, with the cooler type weather tomorrow, I might be able to maintain a uh, cooler shed and not have this type of flight. Not sure if you can see that, but the bees are, the bees are taking flight. Just too much activity. I mean, there's no point. I keep them in the shed all winter under very specific temperature and management and then there's no use you know losing bees just to casual drift like this for no reason whatsoever <clears throat> so I'll take the few extra steps just to preserve everything I have in these boxes and uh, we'll see what comes of tomorrow sometimes if the conditions are right sometimes you can move you know through the day um, the frost stays in the ground, the bees are stuck to the boxes, you move the hives out and it gets warm, but sometimes the bees will just stop you from doing all types of work. And it looks like today I won't be able to move any out. So tonight, it looks like tonight I'm going to start moving, as long as it doesn't get too windy. And tomorrow we'll see if I can work all day. Get these hives out, the forecast is good, the weekend Looks like it's going to be above 10, and then follow that with maybe a little bit of snow, they're saying, maybe, I don't know, but followed with nice weather after that. But nighttime lows are above freezing, so that's got me a little concerned about getting stuck. So I want to kind of get these hives out now when I can still travel and uh, not have to deal with the mud, just kind of walk on that frost. And then starts the year again. So it's the middle of the afternoon, it's about 6 degrees in the shed right now. The sides are fairly calm, there's not a lot of bearding going on, there's a lot of drop. I'm not sure what to think. Some of them are starting to spot, not too bad. For the most part they're fairly clean still. It sure is nice outside. Six degrees outside. These bees would be flying if they were outside. A little bit of canola honey you can see. Bees are digging away at the corners. get them outside more so just to be able to get some feed onto them if they're hungry. See the canola honey? 
seeing more and more of that now. So I haven't starved. No, I'm still alive. I think some of these colonies are disappearing up to the top. But they're nice and calm. And that is a good sign. Well, that's 8.30. That took me about 40 minutes to load. It took me a little bit longer because I had to clear stuff out of the shed and, uh, and clear off the pad a little bit before I got going. So that's a good start. Almost tempted on moving these girls out and starting to move out tonight, but it's windy as hell right now. I don't really feel like working through the wind and throughout the day the uh the frost come out they're very warm sun today it was up to plus six and it turned the yard into a mud hole so it drove the frost out one of the disadvantages of uh clearing my bee yards early like i did cleared them on sunday just a couple days ago is that it gives the i like doing that because it gives it the sun a chance to melt out the snow and clear the yard out but it also what it does it drives out the frost so it turns the, the yard a little bit soft so I won't be able to travel into the yards anyways without getting stuck because we are super wet out there working off last year's moisture and just this year's thaw so I'm not going to tempt fate tonight and I'm going to wait till tomorrow morning it's supposed to be minus eight so that should firm things up quite nicely overnight. So I should get going. Um, I'll get going first thing tomorrow. Hit a few yards, maybe get three, maybe four if I'm lucky. It's supposed to stay below freezing all day tomorrow. So I should be able to move bees out in that as long as I keep the shed cool enough. And I should be able to walk all day in the, in the bee yards without getting stuck. And if it's overcast and below freezing, then I don't think that the yard, I don't think that uh, frost will come out on me. So I'm anticipating a nice day tomorrow. And then after that, it looks like I'll be working at night because uh, it'll be sunny and warm through the day. I won't be able to move through the day. And uh, I'll be walking on the frost at night. So we'll just see how things work here. 